And with that, I have officially uploaded way too many videos today. <laughs> What's up, Juicy Squad? We are back again for some more Droll and Droll, and today we're going to be checking out Lexian's inventory. Honestly speaking, I was about to go to bed because I stayed up all night so that I could catch the Genshin Impact live stream, and then I ended up having to make a bunch of videos about all the different classes that are coming or characters that are coming. But then we also had to talk about the new store pack, which that video is already up. And then I also checked on Luxian's inventory and I was like, okay, fine. I'll just do this so that when I wake up later, I don't have to worry about making a video. <laughs> I can just sleep all day. Oh, Lord. And, and then, of course, you know, in the middle of the night, I'll end up stocking up on a bunch of stuff, uh, talking about the... Um, uh, the 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 boomeranger rework that's currently on the test server you guys can check out my live stream already if you want to see the main details but anyways you're here for a Luxian video is it worth it today yes he most definitely is he's actually selling some pretty nifty stuff so first and foremost he's selling the awesome ball which is a mount that everyone always liked but me I still remember when this was back in the game like this items should honestly have a date on them you know like, this should say that it was uh, invented in 1985 or something, uh, and how it was just oddly in Trove, and it never made any sense, but it was just there. This used to be in the cash shop. Anyways, now it's in Luxian's inventory, and it's just a dumb bouncing ball mount, uh, and then there's going to end up being Sprinkles. Oh, Sprinkles. Oh, I remember. Sprinkles is the old school mount, that you used to have to this this was a founder mount yeah when i first started trove there was like three different store packs that you could buy that would believe it or not they gave you like a bunch of different blocks for building um and, and this was one of the mounts that was a part of the most expensive pack which i think was a hundred dollars i might be mistaken in that uh and it was supposed to be an exclusive reward it was kind of like a backers you know like a kickstarter thing where it's like oh you supported the game you got this right nope now it's just in luxian's inventory and has no value whatsoever <laughs> I honestly don't care. I think that Trove made a mistake of having these old limited time items um, give mastery. I, I think that they just should have made it so that they just didn't give mastery and just made it so that it was items that we got to keep as old school players because otherwise there's just not really any mystique to this. Um, funny enough, there's actually an upgraded version of this that Luxian has also sold in his inventory. Uh, speaking of old retro things, Stormy is an arrow one you might want to pick your hands up on because even though it says it's in the store, it is not. I, I think that people are going to sell this for yeah considerable amount. Yep, 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 yep. Because of how stupid it is. Honestly, I like this way more than the Pegasus horse mounts. You know, like this just, I don't know. There's something about this little block guy with his big old chin. This makes me think, ah, this is a trove horse versus the other bigger horses that you see, like the war horse and stuff like that, where it's basically just a giant horse and it's got like tiny little floating feet. I think if they had like full on animated legs and stuff, I might enjoy it. But I just feel like this is a trove horse because this is appropriate for my character's size because I'm a shrimp. Anyways, we've also got the Radiant Butterfly. Oh, goody. <laughs> you can tell I'm tired. Uh, so this one is actually pretty cool. Um, this was from an event, and it, um, it has a little bit of a history, which is quite annoying, because not only is it very, very fancy, you know, it's a really cool-looking mount. Okay, whatever. The fact that we ended up getting it for free out of an event was pretty dope. Uh, however, you're going to notice the glow coming off of our wings, right? So, funny enough, the Air Primordial Dragon. You guys remember the Primordial Dragons? Because the devs sure don't. The Primordial Dragons used to be unique. They were special, right? And the Primordial Air Dragon in particular was one of the only mounts that ended up having consistent VFX on its wings. Until this mount got added to the game, uh, and then since this mount was added, they ended up just adding VFX to all sorts of different um, mounts. So suddenly, suddenly the air dragon was, uh, its one gimmick was pretty much useless. Uh, and then we've also got, check this out, the wings of shadowy descent. <sighs> 
gives me goosebumps just thinking about it. I don't know why this is even in the shop, but you bet your butt it's going to be very, very expensive. Most of all, because the sheer cost, 200 dragon coins is way too steep. Devs, come on, seriously. But, 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 if we end up doing a uh, slash strike a pose, uh, you can see that these are absolutely beautiful. Fun fact, did you guys know that these wings are on Roblox? That was my first taste of knowing that Roblox actually rips off content from other games and sells it in their cash shop, which is silly. I'm not kidding. Like, I, I can't find the image, uh, but they literally are the exact same wings. Like, I'm not even kidding. It's ridiculous. These wings are awesome, though. These were one of the first HD uh, drawn wings that were added to the games. Uh, and they are just absolutely beautiful. I love them so, so much. Seriously. Uh, they're from the Thanksgiving event. So I wonder whether or not the Thanksgiving event this year is going to, whoops, uh, end up having them again. Uh, and then there's the Lexian equipment style or stash style, whatever. So, you know, when you end up going into your equipment style, there's like hats and weapons and all this garbage. Uh, and then equally in each of these areas, there's all these different categories, right? So the Luxian style stash is going to unlock a random seasonal event pinata or Luxian equipment style that you don't already own, which essentially is just gonna give you like one mastery. So who cares? Uh, and then there's going to end up being bound brilliance. You can get 10 bound brilliance for 25 dragon coins each. Survey says that's a ripoff because it's 250 dragon coins in order to end up buying 10 bound brilliance. What is wrong with Luxian's inventory? I'll tell you everything. Everything's wrong with it. So then we also end up having the Golden Horde Dragon Soul. So these uh, in total, it's going to cost you 400 dragon coins to get the fully maxed out Luxian Dragon. But at the very least, you are going to end up getting a lot of badges out of it, which gives you tons and tons of mastery on top of the stats of the dragon, which are thus so. Now, the thing is that you can only end up buying 15 of these dragon souls per visit, and Luxian is on a bi-weekly schedule, which means you could buy them from him this week. Next week, it's his brother, his, his lame uncle, Caruxian. Uh, and then the week after that is going to be Luxian again. And of course, again, you can only buy 15 each rather than 25 each, which would make more sense. But I'm not going to show you every single one of the different dragon forms. I mean, maybe I should, but I don't really care. Uh, I'm just going to show you the fully maxed out version. Uh, you do get like allies and hat styles and all sorts of cool stuff out of it. But generally speaking, this is the end goal, which glides and also shoots uh, with the... Uh, this is the only dragon or, or thing in the game that has flux as a VFX. It's, I feel it's only a matter of time before eventually we end up getting something else that's going to do that, like a flux boat or something. I, I don't know. Uh, but at the very least, for now, it's just Luxian. So, yeah. Anyways, I got to edit this video, get it up to you guys, and then uh, go to bed. <laughs> and then when I wake up in the middle of the night, I'll uh, I'll try to stockpile up some stuff from the test server. You know, we, we already ended up having a patch on the test server that changed some things with the boomeranger. So, it you know, if I don't end up catching the boomeranger updates, like, right away, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter that much because otherwise it would be like, hey, guys, here we are on the next day. They completely changed the class because they reevaluated all of its numbers. So that last video I just made was irrelevant. I'm making a joke because the point is that it doesn't really matter if we rush out those boomeranger videos because the boomeranger is going through some seriously rapid changes right now. But anyways, that's besides the point. Smash like sub for more, buy the merch you want, support the channel. Oh, hi, Mark, and have yourselves a wonderful day, ladies and gentlemen.